Hey guys, welcome back to Tokyo Mirage Sessions, and in this video we're going to be taking on the boss of the third chapter, which is, well, not here, so we better get him moving. So now is the point where we're kind of done with the dungeon, but we still need to have a little bit of filler, and so we're going to have to come here and kind of come back. Yeah, I'm really not a big fan of how they decided to do that, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, the first thing we need to do is actually get a song, but we don't know that yet, so I don't know why I keep spoiling things. Anyways, teleporter activated, and come to think, I probably should have got that before, but, or after, since I'm going to use it. Anyways, hello there, Mr. Shaman Dude. What meaningless, stupid filler task do you have for us now? And Okay, there you are. Where you've been? We had a snack. Big trouble, big trouble. Got a singer lined up all squared away, sent to sing a certain song for us, but now, cancelled. No replacements, no understudies, two last minute. I think some of you kids might have the chops for it. I want one of you to fill in. Could you give me a shot? Now the song, right? The song is main theme for Dear Witch Iroha. Huh? <laughs> マジかよ。ここで歌を歌えってのか。この歌を知ってそうな人は緊急時でも放映やめないくらいアニメと演歌と旅番組に気合い入れてるからな。大東テレビ。けどどうする？歌といえばキリアさんか翼ちゃんだ
よっしゃブルームパレスに行きましょうパフォーマーが輝くキリアさんなら怖いものなしっすフフフやったわねあなたの素敵な一面も見られて嬉しいわな何のことフフフとにかくこれで歌のお題をクリアするから大東テレビに向かいましょう。For you guys. Well, chop chop, let's hear it. I t a s h i n o d e b a n e m a k a s e t e Might be even better than the singer we had though before. Alright, this will do just fine. You guys go wait in the next room. I'll go on ahead. Nice. Speaking of nice, this guy has really nice hair. It's nice. Yeah! <laughs> Well, that was certainly out of character for Kyria. Holy, I didn't even know she could smile. Anyways, now that we've taken care of that, we get to go to the next part of the film area. Where, guess what? There's another stinking gate with the same guy that wants us to do another. I get used to this. And now it's you guys. Well, I'll just have to perform about subbing in. How about just pretend that never happened? What? Our guest musician's performance got extended, and we can't squeeze in the anime song. The script got changed. Please deliver these new scripts to the tall guy standing outside that door to the east, west, and north. Now book it! Book it? Do you want me to make an appointment with them? Or... We gotta start shooting before the writer changes his mind! Otherwise, we'll change the script again. It's a race against time! Uh, okay. Obtain the. The, the scripts, n e e yeah, and beginning countdown. So I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I don't know if there is a countdown with this or not. Like, it's pretty obvious that you know you just need to hurry up, and it's a dire matter. But at the same time, I've never been penalized for not finishing in time. But yeah, before we go fight the boss, we gotta do one tiny little side quest, and then we gotta take on the next challenge. And okay, here we go. This is a new Mirage that I wanted to show off, the Yomotsu Shikome. Now, if you play a lot of Shin Megami Tensei games, you probably recognize it is weak to electricity and can be exploited as so. And it's going to give you the Hellish Doll Performa, which is really good to grab. And that is pretty much just a generic magic casting enemy. As long as you know it's weak to electricity, you should be able to take it down with no problem at all. Although there are a couple of more enemies that I do want to encounter in this area. But simultaneously, I do want to show you the locations of these guys that you need to like give the scripts to. So I'm kind of.、Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to try and show you all of the enemies that you can encounter right now, basically. So once you're out in the woods, you can encounter a lot of new enemies, such as the dragons. Yeah, the black scale rider. It's weak to a lot of things. And unfortunately, we still don't have an axe unit, so just trying to shoot it down or cast Zon to make it eventually lose the battle. Up next, we also have the Red Barbarians. Here are their stats really just generic barbarian enemies. And yet again, a red unit being weak to fire attacks. Why does this game hate me? I don't know. 
And last but not least, we have the Ironclad Knight, which is a very special unit because it is heavy armored, which means it has a lot of HP. Well, how are we gonna get around this, you're probably asking. Well, I don't stink at all. I'm just gonna let Itsuki deal with it and hopefully we will win. So these enemies are, first off, really important because they drop very useful performa. But keep in mind that there's going to be a lot of enemies in this game where you're essentially going to need to use an armor slayer type of attack, such as the dual dispatch, which pretty much fills this role. I highly recommend either crafting the armor slayer or getting the minotaur weapon onto Itsuki because honestly, you cannot underestimate the power of that dual dispatch attack. And honestly, once you have it, Pretty much any heavy armored enemy is eventually just going to get destroyed. And now that I've covered all of the new enemies that we can encounter in this area, I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys. I don't want to fight that now. Okay, he's on it. There is no way for me to make this more entertaining than it is. There's no new man enemies to encounter. This area is really just generic and similar to the one we were just in. So I'm just going to cut to the point where I've already completed this task. And I hope you guys are cool with that. Great job, here's a prize for all your hard work. Okay, let me go fight the boss, thank you. Holy d <laughs> Honestly, that quest is not really annoying. There are some really good chests out there. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of time consuming. Anyways, it's not every decade you get to see such a superstar. Go for it, but don't cause any trouble for the performer. <sighs> okay, who is hungry? <laughs> Dang, that, uh, that Mirage had a pretty hard job, but now that we're done with that, it's time to take on the boss, and as always, we need to train up because, yeah, I've kind of run from like 50 encounters by now, but before we do that, now I'd like to briefly talk about the symbolism behind this here dungeon. So, if you couldn't tell, there is a very real-world parallel from Barry Goodman, and that is Marty Freeman, who was the lead guitarist for Megadeth at a time, but apparently he just randomly left and decided to go to Japan. That is who Barry Goodman is based on. Obviously, they're not even remotely close because it's never been denied or confirmed if Marty even knows what anime is, and obviously Barry's very well-versed. But back to what I was talking about, I'm gonna grind up so we can easily kick this boss's butt. So be right back. And all right, guys, I am back after a... And you know, I always say I'll be right back, but in reality, that took a pretty darn long time. Anyways, we are now almost all in the low 30s as far as our levels go. As far as being in the 30s, Barry's technically the only one that's 30 years old, but that's not really important right now for our wardrobe. I had kind of a revelation, so basically, the Matador gives us Auto Sukukaja at the start of every battle just for equipping it. And it is true, the piercing eyelashes do decrease our crit chance and our hit chance because skill determines that. However, that doesn't matter because we start with Auto Sukukaja. And really? I mean, 46 strength is pretty darn high for this next encounter. As far as all of our weaponry and armor, not really too much has changed. Here's everyone's costumes, by the way, which I decided to just update since we do have, you know, a lot of money rolling around. Also, yeah. Um, anyways, stinking, uh, for our skills, not really too much has changed. I do recommend, though, you start this battle yet again with Toma and Kyria because their fire attacks are going to make your life a whole lot easier. But here are my current skills. Really, I cannot recommend it enough. Get Dual Dispatch. It is stinking awesome. As far as two bosses, not really too much has changed. We just have Zanma now, which is pretty decent. Same for Toma. However, yeah, get Aggie. And stinking, oh my god, I love that. <laughs> for other reasons, but Ellie has gotten kind of a different setup. Now she has Arrow Rain, given to us by, I believe, the Poison Bow. Right now she has the Killing Bow, or the, uh, what is it called? I can't remember it to save my life, but she has a pretty strong bow equipped to her. And that's gonna increase. I just realized they're holding hands, that's so fun. Also, we have some decent electric stinking attacks, that's cool. Also, that's it. Maiko doesn't have a weapon, so let's go kick some butt because I really don't want to beat this boss because it's actually really stinking fun and well designed. So let's go! Not to say the other ones aren't, but let's go! Itsuki! <laughs> 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 
バリーを操っているのはあのミラージュのことあいつをバリーさんから引き離せばおじちゃん守りどうしてここに来ちゃダメだここは危険だからすぐに帰るんだ嫌です私帰りませんな,なんて星ちゃんが心配だからじっとしてなんていられません守り星ちゃんはどうしちゃったんですかどうしてお化けと一緒にギター弾いてるのバリーは操られているのよバリーおじちゃんおじちゃんはずっと私を応援してくれて落ち込んでる時もそばにいてくれてさっきもおじちゃんは私をお化けから助けてくれていつもおじちゃんが私を守ってくれただから今度は私がおじちゃんを助けてあげるんですおじちゃん目を覚ましていつもの優しいおじちゃんに戻ってお,おじちゃん私の声聞こえないんですかま聞くなお前はギターを弾き続けろ聞くな心を固めろ固くなり固く固く固くま私あなたの歌聴きたかった《バリーさん意識を》やるなあの男強い意志でミラージュに抵抗しているあと一押しのきっかけがあればミラージュの支配を抜け出せるかもしれんぞ。守り歌うんだバリーさんは守りが歌うことを誰よりも望んでいる守りの歌がミラージュの支配を抜け出すきっかけになるかもしれない歌をわかりましたの歌がミラージュの力に打ち勝ってるのよ驚いたわ守りにこれほどの力があったなんて守りこれがお前の歌お前の心お前の心届いたぜ俺のハートを熱くエイトビートに震わせる耳を塞げかたくなに拒め心を固めろ固めろ固めろ固めろ,固めろうるせえオラ今感動したんだよ水を差すんじゃねえたとえ耳塞いでも意識なくても
真摯な思いはここに響くんだそれがロックだんなこともわかるねえのか今のてめえはロックじゃねえそんなもんでこの俺を支配できると思ってんのかバリーの体からミラージュを引き剥がせいくぞみんな And about dang time, I thought that cutscene would never end because I Want to start talking about this boss immediately. So, first up, he's once a hero, which is kind of weird. Also, I'm going to skip that, but this is Cursed Drog. And I really hope I'm saying his name right because it's kind of different in Japanese. But here's the deal about him just like Mamori was saying, Barry always protected her. And Drog is pretty much the same exact thing. He has a bunch of really weak people with him. And is gonna protect them no matter what, making this boss fight kind of difficult. So, you know what we're gonna do to kind of make all his protection kind of useless? That's right, we're gonna strike that pose, boys. Ooh, here it comes. I just like the. He has a red hand and a blue hand. That's so stinking sick. Anyways, we're gonna do this attack again because buffing and debuffing is pretty much essential to beating this game, and we got. Kind of lucky with the turn order, so I'll take it. Right after that, though, they're gonna start using Rakunda. No reason not to. On Toma's turn, it should be a good idea to use Tarukaja in mid. <laughs> Ball Genome strikes again. I thought about using the Leopard Print, but to be totally honest with you, no, no, I had to use the Bull Genome. So here's the deal. Um, we basically need to beat these Red Mages as quickly as possible, and to help us do that, we have Kyria who. Well, kind of has ice covered, so we're not going to attack er, them with Toma. Actually, hmm, would hitting them with Toma be smarter? Because there is also this Dark Cleric, which is weak to fire attacks, and I'm kind of debating going for that. You know, I'm going to try it. It should not one-hit KO, even with the session, but you never know. We could get a crit going or something. So, Oh, dang, that hit over half. But, uh, yeah, something tells me, yeah, it's resisted with the key. Oh, we actually did beat it. Awesome. So that's really good. So, whoa, he's going to attack now. And, yeah, he, uh, he, he, um, he has an axe, and an axe pretty much beats our entire team, which is really annoying. Also, he's using bodyguards, and so now it's going to be really annoying to hit everybody, but we will persevere because, well, we got Mabufu, and that's kind of strong in this game. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get heals over to Toma. It is unfortunate that an attack went to him. I could use one of Kyria's turns. And come to think of it, that'd probably be a smart idea. So let's go ahead and get a soft drink and... Wait, no, not a soft drink. Where the... Okay, I just realized. An energy drink, right? Fully restores HP. And a bee does the same thing. So is there any drawback to using an energy drink? I don't think there is. There was in previous games, but maybe this game's different. Okay. Mazio coming out. That's totally fine. Because there won't be a session. And okay, our double turns are over now. However... Drog is kind of dumb in the sense that he doesn't really get rid of our buffs or debuffs, which I'm totally fine with. And if memory serves me right, um, is this weak to electricity? You know what? There's really on one. There's only one way to find out, and that's actually to avoid it entirely. Because um, here's the thing: if we go for any single target attacks, Drog is just gonna intercept them. So instead of even bothering, I'm gonna go for dual dispatch and get a full session going. Because every time we do that, it's pretty much just gonna do a ton of damage. Now, at the same time, we don't really have an attack that can. Do munch here with Toma. So you know what I'm thinking of doing? And this is a tiny bit on the dumb side, I will admit, but maybe going into Ellie would be a smart idea, since now that she is out in Mando's glasses. <laughs> um, now that she's out, she recently got access to Arrow Rain, which will do multi-targeting damage and might be able to kill both of the enemies in one go. So maybe Barry Stinkin' Mirage won't actually be able to do jack crap. And yeah, this is kind of how I like to do the battle. Not necessarily the way you're having to do it. No, searching for a new target, please. Okay, it was not Ellie. Ellie is also weak to axe attacks, and if she gets hit, that's a really big pain in the butt. And let's see, what can we go for? 
So Let's see. The Red Mage is still weak to ice, so that might work out. So I'm going to go for that since a multi-targeting spell. And Raug cannot intercept it if he's also getting hit by it. But man, I don't know about you. I like this concept for a boss fight. It's actually relatively unique and okay. Now, pretty much the same thing as before. Dual Dispatch and... No, we missed! Oh crap, those eyelashes are... My eyelash accessories. Maybe were a bad idea, but you know what? I don't care. I live in the moment. Let's go for instead the final hour. A heavy attack with a chance to cause near fatal damage. Yeah, not really super high chance of killing the opponent, but I really want to show this off because it looks so stinking cool. And we might as well show off Virian's battle prowess. Honestly, though, you can use full thrall, use whatever the heck you want. I just got SP to blow, and I just need to do some damage. And holy crud, that looked awesome, but um. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, can't say if that's the best use of damage ever in the world, but what are you going to do? Yeah, uh, Draug's already kind of getting destroyed. I'm going to be honest with you, I probably over-prepared for this battle, but hey, I figured out a strat that works, and uh, if I can actually hit him with dual dispatch, it usually wins me the battle. And Okay, oh gosh, here comes the mad dash. Ple oh, <sighs> rest in peace, Kyria. Unless you dodge it, and she didn't. Okay. Didn't expect her to, but whatever. But you know what? Hey, and Makarakarn. That makes things kind of annoying. I've actually never seen him do that because I usually win the battle, and oh gosh, that's bad. So yeah, when reinforcements come, you gotta hustle, just like in the previous mini boss. And where on earth? Where the heck is my curry? There it is. Since we want Kyria to get full EXP, we're gonna revive her. And then, assuming this next dual dispatch connects, we pretty much win the battle. Yeah, a little bit on the easy side, not gonna lie. But still great in execution. Honestly, well thought out given who Drow is in the Fire Emblem continuity. And yeah, sadly, it didn't go on for much longer. I don't know why, I just really like this fight for whatever reason. And I also like the Mirage. He's cool, too. Not gonna lie, uh, probably my best attempt at this boss fight ever. Literally everything went according to plan. We only lost Kyria and revived her soon after. And yeah, Ellie's pretty darn good here, too. It's a shame I didn't get to use Tsubasa as well in it, but oh my god. <laughs> okay, that is good. <laughs> the Master Seal, boys. That's right. Class promotion is most definitely a thing in Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I can't wait to use that, oh my gosh. あなたのおかげで私元に戻れましたよかった。私おじちゃんを守ることができましたか。もちろんです。守りの歌ワンフォーでした。また。さすがは甘ないと剣道な私が助ける。パフォーマーの光だ。パフォーマー。守りが力を貸してくれれば動画を助けられる。これが守りのパフォーマー。とても温かな光です。本当にそれでいいの。これだけのパフォーマーを持っている守りは嫌をなく戦いに巻き込まれていくでしょう。守りの近くに動画がいてくれれば私はそれだけで安心なのです。改めて守り。
ージとかマスターとかよくわかってませんけど私おじちゃんを守れて嬉しかったんですだから誰かから守られるだけじゃなくみんなと一緒に戦ってみんなを守れるようになりたいですよかった動画はいいやつです守りなら絶対に仲良くなれますはい行くよ守りはいいつきさんお願いしますですね、マスター違いますどうが今のあなたのマスターは私ではありませんどうが守りを任せましたよあなたが私の新たなマスター守り自己紹介をしてあげてくださいあの源守りですえっとまだよくわからないこともあると思いますしそんな子供ですけどよろしくお願いします子供だろうと関係ありませんこちらこそよろしくお願いします源守り小さな私のマスター最初は戸惑うことも多いだろうけど俺もサポートするから安心してありがとうございます五木さん動画さんと一緒に精一杯頑張りますどうやら私は狂気に駆られマスターたちを傷つけてしまっていたようです申し訳ありませんバリーと離れた後の記憶が半然としません一体私はなぜこうなってしまったのか私はかつて戦いに敗れましたおそらくその時に動画は再び意識を敵側に染められてしまったのですバーッと守りのおかげで動画帰ってきましたし富山局もすぐに元に戻るでしょう。これにて一件落着でーす。